Maury's, Maury's father was a great sports journalist and columnist. Um, he was right up there along the lines of Red Smith of the New York Times and all the, those. And he, um, Maury never went into newspapers, uh, didn't want to quite, you know, try and compete with his father. So um, Maury went into television news. And I th really think as an homage to his father, um, he started a newspaper. And it's up in the Flathead Valley in uh, Montana. It's where we have a home. And, and basically what happened was that uh, there's one daily newspaper there and several weekly newspapers. And all those papers are owned by one, fam one, one business, and they're in Idaho. And they're not even in Montana. And so we just wanted to give the residents a choice about where they got their news. So we set up this newspaper. And, a, and of course, these days, it, 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 it's... It's only as good as its website. So we have a great website, the Flathead Beacon website. And in fact, in its first year, it won the best weekly newspaper in the state and the best website in the state. So we're very proud of it. Awesome. It's, it's a great journalistic. Uh, and you have all, I have all, we have all these young kids from the, um, a lot of them from the University of Montana Journalism School who uh, worked in uh, towns like Billings and Bozeman and places like that. And they, uh, and, and they right. run the paper, and they, yeah. and they have a free hand, and it's a, it's a very hands-off. It's it's not it's it's not apolitical, but it's non-political, very even-handed, mm -hmm. not very Democrat, technical. not very Republican. Very journalistic. Yeah, very. There are any you know births, deaths, of the mm -hmm. you know little. Good stories break uh -huh. a lot of stories. Uh -huh. But Coney, you started doing some work on well, the website, right? Well, Maury's been you know after me to contribute to the cause here, and so. Um, Last summer, I went around shooting um, with a Connie cam, what I call Montana wisdom. It's uh, what is what is your Montana wisdom? So I it could be about um, uh, could be a logger. A, yeah, it could be a logger. It could be an antler chandelier maker. It could be um, an organic f farmer. It could be a police officer. Um, whatever, highway patrol. And so um, I went around gathering Montana wisdom.